Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel Christmas Countdown where tonight I have a new product from Pringles. It's actually a whole new line of products called Harvest Blends and they have four different flavors that I've seen and I decided to pick up the one that sounds like it would be the best to start with and that is Homestyle Ranch. I love ranch sauce and ranch flavors. I don't know what Homestyle Ranch is versus regular ranch out on the town ranch. The marketing of this seems to be that these are multi-grain Pringles. And if you start looking at the ingredients, you see that they have mixed corn with potato. So it's like a hybrid potato and nacho chip. And then there's also other things like black bean grits. I've never even heard of such a thing. What are black bean grits? And then there's whole wheat flour, malted barley flour. In any case, corn and potato, it sounds like a starch fest, starch mania. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the packaging here. You can see it says new. You have the new skinhead Pringle Sky logo. And under the Pringles logo, you have this Harvest Blends logo. It's supposed to be like a down on the farm written words on a basket and out of the basket are exploding these mysterious football shaped objects that are all around the Pringle sky. I don't understand what those are supposed to be. Seeds? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But just sort of pulled off on the uh, Arbuckle farm here to buy some fresh produce and here you have the they're showing the chip and then down here below the chip you've got more of the seeds and the I, don't, I guess those are supposed to be the ingredients of the ranch which is formed and it's a weird image of ranch sauce formed into the shape of a Pringle. Here in the back you have the nutrition facts and what's interesting about this is that despite all the farm fresh multi-grain language on the packaging and the marketing of it, these are not any healthier than regular Pringles and in fact they have more sodium than most Pringles or about the same depending which flavor you're talking about 210 milligrams but when I look at regular Pringles they have no added sugar at least in the flavor I was looking at here the uh, can I have in possession but these uh, multi-grain harvest blends they actually have added sugar says 1% where the potato chip Pringles say 0 and then also strangely despite all these healthy ingredients the vitamin numbers are 0 and there's actually less potassium in these than in regular Pringles potato And if you're concerned, there is monosodium glutamate in these. They are coming to us from the great city and state of Jackson, Tennessee. The aroma. It's a little bit of ranch aroma. It smells pretty similar to ranch Pringles in the past which alas they no longer have in my area 
get it out it's the same shape as usual it pretty much looks the same maybe just a microscopically amount darker because it's not just a potato flour chip let's go ahead and see how it tastes Well, that first chip, it did, does have a good ranch flavor, and it really is sort of a hybrid chip in that you don't get an overwhelming flavor of like a tortilla chip. There's definitely still a lot of potato chip flavor. The texture of the chip is slightly different also, just barely perceptibly softer than the regular potato crisp. Bob, I'm on an urgent mission to Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. I'm rushing to join an archaeological unit that is en route from the Charles Manson Institute for Strategic Studies in Huber Heights, Ohio. An object of great interest has been discovered, and that's all I can say at the moment. I know the New World Order is watching this video, and all I can tell them is I'll be staying at the Acorn Motel in Kecksburg. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. But another counterintelligence file has come across my desk earlier today. It turns out that for decades the CIA has been using the Howard Stern program to supply imposters. For example, Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf for all these years has been playing Tyrone Bannister on the Game of Thrones. Artie Lang has been playing the son of Eddie Van Halen in a rock band called Mammoth, WVH, and Gary Delabate has replaced John Oates in the group Hall and Oates. Now we know what that restraining order was all about. How's the turndown service at the Acorn Motel? Well, I'll have to say these are pretty good. I'm not sure if they deliver on the health image, but in terms of the flavor, better than I expected. I would say that the ranch flavor is definitely a strong note of buttermilk. It's somewhat reminiscent of the McDonald's ranch sauce, in my opinion. And then the chip itself is slightly heartier in flavor than Pringles are. And I should note that one other visual difference, obviously, is that you see more spots like you would on a corn chip. But I think I would buy these again, particularly because there is no ranch option currently available in regular Pringles. So... If you're in the same boat in the rest of the country, wherever you are, or the world, uh, this would be a great substitute, finally, for not having a ranch Pringles. So I would say I can give this a pretty solid 4 out of 5 stars. Something like Pizza Pringles would be better than this. A uh, suspicious stew that I reviewed recently. Those are five stars. This is uh, pretty close, I would say. And so, out of Harvest Blends, I can pretty comfortably recommend this particular flavor to you. I will have to try the others before I get an idea of whether you should just go out and grab any flavor of this. 
So I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on this Christmas countdown. Bye, everybody.